For this intro, I'm going to talk about something that I do quite frequently. It's called positivity farming. It should be something new that trends, you know what I mean? What positivity farming is, I give as many people randomly positive vibes in a day. As many as I possibly can, no matter how bad of a day I'm going through. I will message sometimes up to 50 people in a day, giving them positive vibes. And you know why? Because I want to see the world do better, of course. Roll that intro. Another thing you could call this trend I have uh, uh, uh. so I've been talking about before, you know, the opening credits. Let's call it karma farming. Because you're trying to farm good karma, you know? That's something, that's something. Imagine a world where everybody was trying to do good to each other for the sake of of positivity's sake. Oh my lord. I'm I'm feeling a little bit frisky thinking about it. Like that hits me right in the spot right there. Just thinking about people being good to each other for no reason. Mmm. That's like the freaking dream right there. So this is episode 99 somehow. Episode 99. So I'm going to tell a story about 99 as a number. Not only is it one of the most important numbers in hockey history, but one of my friends once stayed with this guy who had a crazy, crazy drug habit. And he would scrape his favorite straw out once a, a week and call it number 99 and he would try to offer it to my friend but my friend would say no because he didn't trust it he'd be like hey do you want some number 99 he was french by the way like canadian french there's your story of the day 18 plus on this one as always comedy is my muse Comedy helps me when I am feeling blue. So, my mom's neighbor just gave me this epic double flute. And I already know how to play it. So 99 episodes, 99 installations of posting a weird video every day until I become famous. And I appear on a lot of people's front pages apparently. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do for the 100th episode, guys. It may be a surprise. A hundred episodes coming up. Next episode being a hundred. I can't believe I'm already doing the full compilation of season nine. Honestly, a hundred days of videos in a row. A hundred days of constantly making people laugh. Constantly 
spreading positivity like butt cheeks on Fortnite. Because I'd be spreading cheeks on Fortnite. I'd be aggressive. Like, if you've seen me play Fortnite, you know what I mean. It's me. Your guy. Your guy. I still think to this day how one of M. Night Shyamalan's best characters was Mid-Sized Sedan. Mid-Sized Sedan was a rap artist in uh, M. Night Shyamalan's movie Old. If you don't know what Old is, I'm going to tell you what it's about. It's about a beach that ages you. It's creepy. Very creepy. You know what? Screw you. Unmax your cheese. You know what? Screw you. Untoast your bread. You know what? Screw you. Unbaths your bomb. You know what? Screw you. Unhappy's your meal. You know what? I love you. Remax your cheese. Rehappy's your meal. And the other one I said. I forget what I fucking said two seconds ago. Well, I guess time for the memes. It was a good season nine. And I'm not making the joke about this being episode 11. Because I'm beyond that kind of dark jokes. So, I hope you all have a great day and see you in episode 100. And uh, a very special stream coming up. So here we are with today's memes. And today's memes have a very critical theme to it. You know how I brought up positivity earlier? And karma farming? Well, today we are doing more positivity memes. Because, you know what? You have survived 100% of your worst days and you're doing great. And I am proud you're here. And I'm glad I could tell you to stay hydrated every day. You know, life is hard most days, and life throws us softballs, sometimes right to our collective gonads and tits, you know what I mean? We just get hit hard in the soft spots. This is literally me when I'm saying I'm sending good vibes. Eyes closed, sparkles coming out of my hands and everything. It is a very, very accurate representation of what it's like when I send many people in a day good vibes because I want to see them happy. I want to be one of the reasons they smile throughout the day if they haven't smiled yet. This is very much my grandparents when I'm talking to them about stuff I'm doing. They're just finally taking an interest in my YouTube stuff. Yeah, like, I'll be there and I'll be talking to my grandma. I'll be like, talking about how I did this and that on YouTube and she'll be like, Ah, oh, cool, Devin, that's nice. How's your subscriber count doing? And I'm like, well, it is definitely going up. Ha ha ha. And sometimes this is what happens. And other nights, like, my brain's a dick. But you know what? Sometimes it's good to have your brain to tell you that you're doing a good job. You need a lot of people or yourself to tell you you're doing a good job. It's good to have a good support structure. I have some of the best friends ever. And... To be a best friend back, this is what I do. I hear my friends out because sometimes they got stuff they need to say that they need to get off their chest. And that's just me being a bro to everybody I love. Be a bro or a sister or whatever you are to those you love. Listen to them today. Like, comment, and subscribe. And drink your freaking water, please and thank you.